Disease Overview. Free sialic acid storage disorder. FSASD. Is a rare neurodegenerative. Multisystem disorder characterized by abnormal accumulation of free sialic acid. A sugar. Molecule. In various tissues and organs of the body. FSASD comprises a spectrum of disease severity. Historically divided into three subtypes. Ranging from. The most severe form. Also called infantile free sialic acid storage disorder. ISSD. Often lethal in utero or in early childhood. To an intermediate severe form. 2. The mildest. Slowly progressive form. Also called Sala disease. With patients living into adulthood. Signs and symptoms. The symptoms and severity of FSASD are highly variable. Some individuals will develop severe. Life-threatening complications. Others will have milder findings. Severe FSASD. Causes. FSASD is caused by changes. Variants. In the SLC17A5 gene. Sialic acid is a charged sugar produced when lysosomes break down certain sugar containing. Proteins. Glycoproteins. Carbohydrates or fats. Glycolipids. Affected populations. FSASD affect males and females in equal numbers. The worldwide prevalence of FSASD is estimated at less than 1 per 1 million individuals. Disorders with similar symptoms. Sialuria is a rare disorder characterized by elevated levels of free sialic acid. Individuals with sialuria may have an enlarged liver. Hepatomegaly. Coarse. Facial features and seizures, and may experience delays in reaching developmental milestones. There are several types of metabolic disorders in which there is secondary accumulation of certain substances like fats and sugars, which are associated with clinical manifestations of coarse facial features and developmental delays similar to those of FSASD. These disorders include galactosemia, sialidosis, gaucher, disease. Galactosialidosis, Wolman disease, cholesterol ester storage deficiency, the mucopolysaccharidosis and other lysosomal storage disorders. For more information on these disorders, choose the specific lysosomal storage disorder name as your search term in the rare disease database. Diagnosis. A diagnosis of a FSASD may be suspected based upon identification of characteristic signs and Symptoms and by performing a thorough clinical evaluation. A. Detailed patient history, including family history, and specialized tests that detect elevated levels of free sialic acid in certain cells and tissues. Or in urine. A suspected diagnosis before birth. Prenatally. Is possible through chorionic villus sampling. CVS. During CVS. Fetal tissue samples are removed. And tests. Assays are performed on cultured tissue cells and or white blood cells, leukocytes, to detect elevated levels of free sialic acid. Treatment. Early intervention is important in ensuring that children with FSASD reach their highest potential. Services that may be beneficial include special education, physical therapy to improve strength and coordination, speech therapy and other medical, social, and or vocational services. Genetic counseling is recommended for affected individuals and their families. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Your like, comment, and share always motivate us.